EU takeover in this lobby. EU takeover. EU takeover. I don't think I've seen rights on Baco that aren't the five that he has right now. Oh, that's just like the safest loadout. Yeah. Uh, a Game lot of pause. EU players, though, they like the blue Q on Baco. This is uh, where you can recast the Bulwark to apply a weaken. Oh, okay. Uh, I, Who do you choose that against? Players like that. Um, I think EU players just like it. Oh, okay. They just like the right. They take it all the time. But um, and A players are less likely to take uh blue Q right on Baco. Uh, except your if you're Lep. I think Lep likes it. He just likes the mobility. Yeah. That when you recast the shield, you you move a little. And I think Lep likes that when he plays Baco. But you mostly don't see it. Yeah. Dracula's running a synergy build. Still has the zeal and lawbender, the the core rights, and then unlimited power, or whatever they changed the name of that right to. Ult right on the blossom. All right, so he's looking to do some damage, and compared to Cross, who's run a very defensive loadout, like the most defensive blossom loadout you can run. It's interesting. So we've got two different types of blossoms we're seeing. One of them, uh, the EU team, red team will be running a tree blossom, while blue team is running just the standard one. But ult, right? Croak's getting taking a lot of damage here, and uh, Fake's just uh, falling onto the Croak, just chasing him down. Croak's just having Croak's having a lot of time, uh, a lot of uh, trouble applying pressure. He's just always like running away. It looks like he gets punished whenever he goes in. He, oh, Vague sees the lack of space on the Croak and just ults him outright. Kind of gets procced on Straculo. Alright, Croak is spacing in. He has Q up though. Lands the in cap. Uh, Lepnix tornadoes the wrong person. Gets to convert it onto the just the Blossom again. Alright, the Vresh Ard in. Unless he gets his counter hit, he's in a pretty tough spot. He crushes the orb and manages to secure it for his team. That is the third orb for red team. Blue team, despite having such a good map presence, they're having trouble securing orbs. Lovely E wall slam by the uh, Vague. Catches the invisible Croak before he can land the stun. Croak spacing in, uses E. Croak has no cooldowns now. He's forced to just sit back and wait for his rotation to come up. Uh, he, he went in, the fight, his uh, cooldowns were all up. And he takes a lot of damage for it. Lepnix is just chasing him down, splits up the Blossom and the Croak. Croak gets oh. the in cap onto uh, Taya. Taya's in a bad spot now, but Vague is also in a bad spot. Everyone's so low. Good uh, good war shout by the uh, Bako. Keeps him alive for a second longer. Will is going to die to the Shatter unless he gets some healing. And he does die to the Shatter. Good stuff by uh, Straculo. Straculo really held his own there. And then... Oh, misses! All right, the tornado causes the uh, boss to miss his EX space, but uh. Oh, this oh, is uh, this is a really tight match. Oh, he's blinded though and in a bad position. He's got the re oh, oh, he's going for the orb. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, Lep's gonna secure the orb. Let's see him go for the greens now for the max HP. Okay. Croak has ult, so uh, Ty has to be careful of his EX. He doesn't have EXQ up for the ult. He uses tornado. He's gonna get ulted now. Oh, but he oh. misses the ult and. It's just become a oh. clobber fest, and he just barely takes it over lap. Oh, no, no, that is the closest match you've seen all day. Woo. Dude, and they're playing on what? 100 ping, probably? Yeah, around oh, that Oh my range. god, that's yeah. insane. Absolutely insane. It would have felt really bad for uh, Red Team if uh, the Croak missed his ult and yeah, then he lost because of that. So like, I'm kind of glad that Red Team got the edge over Blue Team because it would have just felt so bad for him. Because he... The, uh, like, the, all that trying and you were ahead down. the whole time, you know? Like... Yeah. Okay, looks like Ty is just pushing on forward. Buck is going to space in. Ease uh, Straculo into the wall. He's just gonna use his bulwark to back out, peel for this croak. I told you, man. Croak is hype. I, I like this croak. 
All it's right, fun. good orb control. He just ease it out. He secures the orb for his team. I want to see that from uh, blue team more because they they lost way too many orbs last yeah, round. I think three last round. Yeah. Um, okay. In cap on team. Okay. Uh, Vague's unable to block the intercept, the croak, and he's just on will. Uh, looks like Taya's going to peel for Taya and Baka are peeling for will. Let's see if they can take the orb. Looks like red blue team manages to get oh. it after the. Uh, <laughs> I think the Vresh counted in and it knocked the orb away. Yeah. And then the tile's just ready to secure it. And um Vague will just assassinate the blossom up top. And uh Looks like Blue Team is poised to take this round. Not as close as the last round, but you know. They can't all be nailed by this. Right. Just gotta cool down after the last one. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Fearless. I definitely think it's a cool pick. Seeing Croak is always fun for me. Wow, Lep is so good? Yeah, I, yeah. I think there was a point in the first round where I saw him throw an EXM2, like, halfway across the map, walk in front of two people and get, like, three people stunned. Like, it's... Guy's good. It's just a good player. I mean, the numbers speak for himself. Like, yeah, the first I mean, time he had, like, like 2K. yeah. Like, yeah, like 2k uh, damage in the first round. I gotta put up scores. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm squirting diarrhea out right now. That sounds like a personal problem, dude. You should probably get that checked out. Uh, Camel comes out on the croak. He doesn't land out on anyone. He has to space out now. Gets caught by the boom bloom, but they don't convert off of that. Vig's just gonna space in. Crocs the counter, though, but Strangler's gonna counter in. He's vulnerable now. Really? He R's in, too. He's just... He's just Stracula's ready to fight. Uh, gets his counter proc. The counter's in, dude. Stracula does not have any fear. He's just going in. Gets ulted by the Baco. He's still going on him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He is killing oh, it. Oh, so he uh, lep uh, tornado the the Baco so he wouldn't get uh, hit by the chatter. Good stuff. Um, Baco's gonna get stunned by the Boom Bloom here. Takes a lot of damage for that. Okay. Uh, oh, he still oh, gets the in cap down. on the Balco. The bulwark comes down just in time for him to land the in cap. Good <laughs> stuff from the croak. Now they're on the blossom. Blossom has no space, and the blossom can't really do anything for the Balco because they're in full retreat. Red team's gonna secure the orb here. I mean, I still think it's doable. Damn, uh, not anymore. They just got no, separated. I think Blossom's just alone on an island. The HP differential is too high, too. Yeah. Okay, spaces the boom bloom. Lump next gets rooted. Doesn't get the whiffs the Q. Lands the EXM2 on the Blossom though, but he still has to deal with this croak. He's just retreating now, but it has to leave the Blossom to fend for himself. Great stuff from Red Team. Oh yeah. All around the same amount of score too, like, we're doing well. Still though, left with max damage. Or highest damage, you know. Well, up against a tree build, you just yeah, kind of farm right. damage numbers against tree build. Because uh, does that like heal like more bursty, or how does how does tree so build work? Frost, what you do is you drop an EXQ, and if you're not familiar with what uh, Blossom EX tree does, it uh it takes damage for anyone within the AOE, so it doesn't heal like a normal tree. But okay. uh, he has this other right that pairs up with it where he can heal the tree, and then he heals the people within the AoE. Wow. So you just become immortal while you're in the EX tree. All right, uh, all right, Baco gets CC'd by the Boom Bloom. Takes a, a bit of real HP for it, but it, it wasn't the worst opening. Croak's just gonna mount up a Q. Uh, gets spaced on by the Baco, but he E's before he can get wall slammed. Good stuff. And he's gonna take the, steal the orb. He doesn't have E. Hopefully he gets camouflage up soon. All right, he misses the, uh, misses the Deceit. But... Not punished too hard for it. EX space no, yeah, comes down. Vague. Uh, Stracula, so Stracula's stunned. He counters right into the X strike from the Taya. Unfortunate for Stracula. Ultimate from the Taya. Uh, Red team can take the orb, which they do. Vague's gonna space onto the orb a little too late. Doesn't really get too much off. Now he has two cooldowns missing, both his Q and his space. Consumes the judgment on left, but uh. Vague's just on Stracula. It doesn't let him get that punish, that real punish, off of his Shatter. EX space onto Cross, okay. 
manages to E the orb and takes it for his team. Very nice stuff from uh, Vague there. Lands the in cap, tries to uh, cover his blossom, but he's unable to do so. Counter comes out from the Straculo, uh, gets hit by Will. Will's a little too eager to get those uh, hits because of his ult, right? Orb is out. Red team secures it. Very nice. Love has Tornado Alley. He's taking a lot of damage from the Croak. Worse is Red secured it through a Baco ult. Like, that's, they're just controlling the mid so much. Blue's just uh, having a hard time getting in there. Stunned by the Boom Bloom. Gets CC'd by the Varesh, followed up by it. Um, Incap comes out on the Baco. Uh, gets tornadoed out by uh, Taya. Good stuff from left. Uh, Vague then goes on to take the orb, but his uh, support is taking some damage here. Let's see some peel for her. There's no tornado up. Uh, Baco's not in the best position, too. Misses his wall slam, and he's going to die for that. Ult comes out from the tile. Let's see if they can get a pick. Hopefully on the Faresh, but the Faresh has counter. Counter gets hit. He's in the EX tree, so no one's taking any damage there. That's why the Taya knocked him out of the EXQ. Very nice stuff from left. Uh, let's see how long Will can stay a sur uh, survive. No, he gets his uh, ult reflect back at him, and he will die for that. Uh, I, I can respect the hand play by uh, Will just to go for an ult. He, he needed to make something happen. <laughs> yeah, something had to happen there, so I just, uh, just went for the ult there. But Cross had R up, so backfired for him. Um, John asks if red team's from EU. Yes, they are. Red's red orb control is insane. Yeah. Red's orb control is insane. I agree with that. 4-2 to two that last round. Looks like Ketri's game is done. Three, they just finished up. One, let's see if we can get some adaptations with blue team. Uh, let's see. Vague spaces in. The Blossom's ready for it. Spaces immediately. Looks like uh, Lepnix is going pretty far in. Has to R out. No longer has Tornado. He's losing a lot of real HP, actually, and the Blossom is now pressure of Judgment on. Let's see if Red Team can secure this orb because they have the mid control. And they do, but they both double stun from the Boom Bloom. Now, Stracula's in a bad position. It's e wall slammed. Okay. That was a good set of plays from Bag. He had Blossom on the back. Looks like Vague's peeling from Will right now. Incap gets deployed. Uh... Vague always tries to block the in-cap for uh, Will, but like he hasn't been successful so far. Every time he's tried to bulwark the Croak in-cap, it's never worked. And I'm wondering if it's even worth it to try and do that. Oh, he but got it that time, though. Sick sick combo on the, <laughs> on the Croak. Just the ult into wall slam. Uh, Stracula kind of countering for no reason there. Um, but it looks like nothing's really going to happen off of that. Um, Vague dodging to shatter, but because of synergy, just, judgment just gets reapplied. Wall slam... Uh, Pulls the orb away with his E. Very nice stuff from Big. In caps, double in cap. Let's see what they can convert off of it into. Um, they don't really do much with it though. They just push them back using the in cap. Um, croak in cap comes out. Uh, Ex tree comes out to mitigate the damage from the croak CC. Uh, now the croak is CC. Speaking of which, inside the boom bloom, um, just gonna go in. Gets oh, his, uh, the EXQ, yeah. He misses the CC on the Blossom, but now the Blossom has no space, but it doesn't look like they can really do much with that. Falco's gonna miss his E. Looks like they're just pressuring up. They're using the Void to their advantage. They're just pressuring uh, the EU team into there. Oh, oh good Q from uh, the Taya. Knocks the Orb away so that they can see it, secure it. The counter does not get procced by the Varesh. The Varesh is gonna die here unless he stays in the EX tree. Great EX tree from uh, Crossbiz, but it won't be enough to save the Varesh. And the Blossom will shortly follow after. And now is only the Croak. It's the first time I've seen an Org get taken from Bakuol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've seen it this turning too. Good stuff. So this is a far. Pretty, even, pretty even match. Two yeah. three. Ah. The heck is Community League? I'm curious. I remember a long time ago I played against Stracula's team. Yeah? I think it's Stracula, Cross, and Greninja. Oh, how, yeah, how long I, ago I, was that, Boomer? 
you know? Uh, maybe like six months ago. I'm oh. pretty sure I beat them though. Ages, eons ago, you know? Six months, yeah. That's Gotta keep up with the meta. Let's check a little hard cast <laughs> M2. Uh, oh, gets the Bulwark stun, um, but not too much of a punish. I was hoping for an extract from Lap onto that, but um, Croak has full HP. Uh, Box is just gonna space in and get stunned. Has to E out with Judgment on, manages to weave away from the chatter. And the Croak's going in. Looks like he's uh, collapsing onto the Taya. Taya has the tornado out. Tree comes out from Will. Will no longer has Tree. Double in caps, and they don't have access to Tree. Bolt comes out from Will. Will's going to be doing a lot of damage because he has the ult, right? Uh, blue team secures the orb. Uh, not a surprise because they have mid, mid under lock and key. Uh, red team is going to try and contest mid, trying to push in. Uh, and they are succeeding. They push in off an ult. Kinda gets proc from uh, Stracula, but Stracula's not going in right with it. Orb is up. Red team will secure it. Looks like Vague was trying to snipe it, but he gets Stracula instead. But he's gonna still die. <laughs> oh, that feels so bad. Okay, ult comes from out, out of will, but it doesn't really do much. Uh, left is the counter with his X strike. Uh, they're gonna shatter the orb just for just for safety or crush the orb. I mean. Awesome notice that was... Red team wins the round. You know, I think I'm with chat on this one. I still like the croak. There's just so much. I don't know. I think the croak is doing a really good job of like uh, splitting up because uh, Will it just needs like some mayhem. appeal. Yeah, Will needs a little bit of appeal when the croak is on him, but uh, then like the other person that's in there. It'll usually result in a 2v1 versus the Croak. And then the odd man out who's like 1v2ing the other backline is just like kind of struggling. Right. And not having as easy of a time as the Croak is. Croakgasm? I should make that an emote. That'd be hype. The Croak mind games are too OP. <laughs> uh, Lep applies so much pressure at the start. He'll, he'll haste and he'll, walk, he'll just walk forward and just like rely on his kiting to avoid uh, damage. It's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's just a good bit on the Dracula for it, too. More pressure yeah. Vague there. But right now, Vague's applying a lot of pressure as he forces the, their backline to, like, consider the fact that he's behind them. He's just gonna space oh. holes, oh. catches, uh, catches two of them, and some major damage from Vague just coming up behind them. You can't leave this man behind your entire team. Oh he's my always a threat. god, dude. <laughs> oh, that's so brutal. Two of them, uh, uh. How much is back ult? Yeah, 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 yeah. How, how much yeah. is back ult for the first and second hits? Like, that's a lot of damage. Because he hit second hit on what? The the Blossom and then ult on so Stracula? The first, I believe uh, Stracula R the way. And then uh, Vig just followed him with his R. If I, <laughs> not R, the, the ult. ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I re recall right. Oh, man. Uh, that was nice. That was definitely clip worthy. He got one. Good job, Big. Alright. It's 3-4. Red team is at match point. Blue team can't afford to lose a single round. They have to play flawlessly if they hope to maintain their perfect score of 5-0. Camo comes out from the croak. Doesn't really get anything with it. Uh, Bok is forced to space out. Ease out even. Just uses everything to escape. But they- Oh! Stracula's gonna Q in! But he's unable to get the orb! And he's not getting punished for queuing in, actually. Um, Blossom's forced to space. Looked like the Croak wanted to go for the Blossom for a second there, but decided that Taya was closer. Taya's just on the back pedal now. Gets his ult decimated! Gets actually hit out of his ult! If you aren't familiar, uh, once Taya's ult runs out of shield, it expires. Just used 100 right. energy oh, to watch he's it. He's gonna snipe those orbs from Cross. Just, just to be cheeky. Has to use his R and space to get out though after stealing those greens. Stracula's gonna stand in, be, uh, counter in. Then just the R is out. Okay. Um, Cross 
EX space is the orb, but Vague had thought um, Cross was EX space in Helm, so he had the bulwark ready. So Cross baited uh, Vague. Very nice stuff from uh, him. Ty is still low. Hopefully he grabs some greens, restores some max HP. Um, hopefully he can get them before the croak kills him. Uh, unfortunately, he's denied his greens by Straculo. So Lev has to get this orb if he wants to recover real HP, and he does. Straculo's going to counter in. He has R up, so he's not in any danger. Uh, unless he gets stunned like that. And then he R is out after getting stunned. Um, Croak's just camouflaging in. Burns his E. Uh, Tornado gets burnt too in the process. Uh, Vague misses his EX space, but he manages to steal the orbs. Vague's been stealing a lot of orbs, but he doesn't have Bulwark for this Blossom ult. Let's see if you can secure this orb. Ty will fall. And looks like... The Red team will just clean up unless they can kill Straculo, but that's unlikely because Straculo is in the EX tree. Or, oh, it looks like he might fall here, stunned in the oh. boom bloom into the wall slam. It's an even match. Oh. Or not really. There was a chance. There was a shot. I mean, it's just, uh, just GG, that was, that was a good one. This is the best match of the day. Yeah, uh, hands down. That was a good choice by Faye.